it's sunny season, despite the fact that July has been a bit of a disappointment in terms of weather. It's been raining pretty much every day in July. But June? June gave us that little bit of summer magic that I had been waiting for. Hello guys, welcome back to my pottery workshop. Today I thought it'd be fun to take you with me on a day in the workshop. I'm currently working on a new batch of pots. So I'm gonna be trimming, attaching handles, carving, all of that fun stuff. I think this is my favorite part of the whole process. I think I might even prefer it to throwing. So I'm gonna be doing that. But I also really wanted to talk about summer. I think I mentioned before that I get a lot of inspiration from nature's seasonal beauty and just how everything changes with the seasons. So I thought I'd reflect a little bit about summer and talk a little bit about some of the adventures I've been on, digging for wild clay and some of the work that's come from that. So yeah, let's get to work. So after throwing a bunch of pots, I leave them out to dry for a couple of days until they get to this leather hard stage. At this stage, the pots still have lots of rough edges. And so they're in need of some fettling, turning, trimming, whatever your preferred term is. It essentially just means trimming and getting rid of rough edges in order to leave the pot nice and smooth and ready for firing. When the bottom is done, I turn it over and work on the rim of the pot. Next, I score the area where I'm going to be attaching the handle. Then I pull a bunch of handles and leave those out to dry for a little bit just so that they're a bit sturdier when it's time to attach them to the mugs. Whilst the handles are drying I use this time to do some surface design on the pots. I start by applying wild clay slip. I found this wild clay in Scotland and there's a really lovely story behind it which I'll get into later. When this has had a few minutes to dry, I carve small organic flutes through the wild clay into the surface of the mug. This is what it looks like in its very dry but greenware state. And here's one after its final firing. I'm also working with this beautiful ochre coloured wild clay that I found by the riverbed near my home. I have a couple of videos about me finding this clay so if you haven't watched those already definitely go back and take a look at those. For the next mug design, I'm using a couple of different wild clay slips before carving into the surface. more of that beautiful Scottish wild clay and the layer above that is some lovely red Shropshire wild clay. I really like how this one turned out and I can't wait to see how those undulating heels look once they've had their final firing. So after carving, the next step is handle attaching. For this design in particular, I couldn't decide whether it might have been a good idea to attach the handle before carving, but I tend to attach the handle after I've done the surface design.
This mug definitely reminds me of summer adventures. Dan and I love a road trip. I feel like road trips are one of our love languages. It just really brings us so much life getting in the car, going somewhere new, wild and beautiful. We've had some stunning adventures camping in the hills. One of our favourite places to go on a road trip to has to be Scotland. A couple of years ago, we stayed in potentially one of the most magical places ever. Hidden away on the shores of Loch Nell is this tiny off-grid cabin. There's no other word to describe this place than magical. I think the Scottish wilderness is just one of the most inspiring places for us. We had slow, dreamy coffee mornings, made fires, and even made pizza in this little pizza oven. Last year, we went on another road trip up to Scotland to visit family, and we had the most beautiful time with them camping on some beautiful land that they own. Whilst we were there, I found some wild clay. So I took it home, dried it out before slaking it down into some water and letting the clay sink to the bottom and the debris and dirt float to the top. I poured off the water and was left with this clay sludge, which I processed using a fine mesh sieve to get rid of any remaining chunks of debris. In this process, you cannot avoid the mess embrace the mess. So I left it to dry for a couple of days. After a few days, it was ready to wedge up. Back in June I went foraging for some elderflower. Elderflower is so fragrant and I love the smell. I decided to make some elderflower cordial. We've had a few thunderstorms in July, but I've really been loving the way that the sky just lights up when the rain stops. So here's to summer and all of its beautiful long nights. <laughs> 